uh, welcome to Mosmai Caves, which is about six kilometers from Shora Charapunji. And I'm going to go in. There are two routes to take. One of them, which is really long, about 20 kilometers, because this is one of the longest caves in Meghalaya and one of the top 10 in India. Uh, so I'm going to take the shortest route today, and I'm going to take you through some parts of it. Apparently, I'll have to crawl in some places. So let's see how this works. But if you notice. Uh, there's water dripping inside the caves also and there is some lighting inside. I don't know how far uh, I will be able to capture everything. But with me, you're going to enjoy the cave ride today. Okay, uh, what you're seeing is inside the caves and because of the rains and because of water dripping, it's quite slippery. And we got to be really careful. Uh, some people may choose to walk bare feet, which I'm not sure if it's really advisable. But I am. I have got my hiking boots. I don't know how far they're going to be helpful today. So, and I don't know. It looks like a dead end, but. Oh, unguided path. Apparently, Meghalaya has the nine of the ten longest caves in India. And Mosmoy is one of them. So, Caving is usually done with guides, professionals guiding us through the path, but this is one of its kind, uh, like I mentioned otherwise, where there is a guided path, concrete path laid inside the cave uh, so that people can walk. What you see next is a really <coughs> a small opening. And I have to bend through that. So, and there's water. Okay, I actually have to sit down and this whole path is going to be like that. What you see here now is two parts and that right side one is the longest so the boat says this way to exit so I want to take this uh, the walk itself is about 20 minutes that's for the shorter path So, there's, uh, the lighting is there for us to walk through, but I understand there's, a, there's not much that you're getting to see, so which means photography, videography, none of these cameras can do justice to what it feels like to be walking in these caves. I'm going to go a little ahead and then help you join me. Uh, I've just crossed a small bridge and what I see is like what we have in water theme parks and other places like rain dance. <coughs> that's what that's what is similar here. You can see water dripping from up there. And these rocks which are lit for us to see. Otherwise, like any other cave, it's all dark in here. So I'll have to walk through this water again. Oh.
Okay. I'm going to uh, turn my flashlight on so that I could probably uh, gather some more clarity in the picture. So, catch you in a moment.
Okay, what you saw for the last about eight or nine minutes must have been really silent walk through the cave. Apparently, uh, a little technical glitch, my voice was not recorded. So here I am, trying to give you a little more of the rocks and to tell you that Meghalaya has a lot of caves and these caves were used by people during the war to hide from the enemy and most of these caves are unexplored and thankfully unexploited too. If you see there's water dripping and I'm getting my morning showers from them so any photo any video probably would never do justice to such beauty of nature because the experience of walking through this is what you need to get look at that after about a 10 minute walk what, a, what we get is some natural lighting and this was the other route that you would have seen me taking a little while ago where there's water dripping and I actually hit my head through it and there's water here too there are a couple of exits here so there's one there as you notice there's a staircase and leading out to the exit I'm going to take the other one which again you would have seen in the silent video where I missed my voice so these stones are quite uneven and either you're going to walk barefoot or you need something where it will hold your grip and I'm wearing hiking boots so don't try them something in slippers or high heels you need to know that those are only for your parties so here you see another exit Okay, so this is what I'm going to take and I'm just going to focus a bit on the rocks here before I take leave of them. Do you see water droplets? Yeah. If I am right, they are limestone caves. Meghalaya also has the first discovered limestone cave, which is called Siju Caves, which is about uh, three to four hours a drive from another town called Thura. And uh, in the season of rain, uh, what I heard is it is filled with water already, so there's not much you can walk. Uh, otherwise, up, up to four kilometers of the cave is something that you can walk to. There you go. Look at them. A little while ago, a bat barely missed my head. I didn't see any, another one, but my guess is there should be more because this is where they live so and these caves must be easily about 25 feet high so 
So, there, I come out. So this must be the other exit. And there comes the end of the cave walk. Come on, what are you waiting for? Find a cave that you want to explore and just get going. Don't think too much. All you need to do is experience it once. Trust me, traveling is the best addiction.